An Egyptian court released former President Hosni Mubarak from prison on Thursday and placed him under house arrest at a military hospital in Cairo. The move has prompted fears that it could further stoke tensions in a country already rocked by violence. The 85-year-old ousted leader still faces a retrial on charges stemming from the killing of protesters in 2011. And if found guilty, he could be put back behind bars. CCTV's Adel El Marouki is in Egypt and has local reaction to the news. The medical helicopter that carried Hosni Mubarak from Cairo's Torah prison arrived to a military hospital. He's been held for more than two years, the maximum time for pre-trial detention. There's been fears his release could further stoke tensions. But analysts say the reaction so far has been surprising. We spoke to people on the street. Many were pleased with his release. Releasing Mubarak is the best thing they could have done, because what good would it have been to keep him in prison? After all, he was a leader of a big country and a leader of the Arab world. His release would not cause instability, because we respect law and justice. We are not against anyone. He was a representative for Egypt, so we never meant to insult him. They say they are releasing him because there isn't enough evidence. The biggest evidence that was there is the ignorance and poverty we were living under. Due to the current state of emergency and curfew, the interim prime minister has ordered that Mubarak be kept under house arrest. But that could be lifted once the emergency law is over. Mubarak will only be allowed out to attend his trial or when the house arrest is over. But in either case, the prosecutor general has prohibited him from leaving Egypt. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.